All right. Hello, wine drinking people. Today is Friday, the 24th of October. We're taking down a bunch of Gaia wines tonight. And that's what we do here. We specialize in once in a lifetime tastings. And we have got this tasting every year. And it's a great experience. Our barrel tasting from Louis Jadot, one of the largest negotiants in Burgundy, and uh, this is a house that we know very well. You know, we're lucky enough to have Jacques Lardier and Pierre-Henri Gagné come into this market for years to do a barrel tasting with us, and uh, it was just an incredible event. You know, this is what I call a study in terroir. You have two grapes, the same producer, so the wine's basically made the same way. The only difference is the dirt that these wines come out of. And 2012 is the newest release from Burgundy. Let me tell you, they've had a slew of great vintages. 2009, one of the greatest young vintages I've ever experienced. 2010, by most producers acclaimed, even better. 2011 was a good vintage. I mean, kind of a mix between 9 and 10. It had that forward, precocious nature, the fruit of 9. And then they did have good structure like 2010. And then we have a, a couple of really short vintages. 2012, you know, just to sum it up in a few words, in April you had cold weather and frost. In May you had mildew. So you had a, a number of things going against the uh, quality, quantity here to start things and poor flowering and serious hailstorms in uh, J June through August, cutting down the crop. Uh, quite a bit, like just like in 2013, some producers lost 90% of their crops. And then July sunburn, you had extreme heat, and then August and se September odium, uh, so they had a malady of problems. But if you worked your vineyards, and if you did the right things, you could come up with healthy grapes at the end. September did produce some very good weather, but tiny, tiny yields. So just like in 2003, when uh, Jacques came to me with half bottles as samples, uh, you know, they don't have a lot of wine to go around in this 2012 vintage. So if you're interested in Burgundy and you want to learn uh, what the dirt, the difference the dirt makes, this is a great tasting. We have got wines from Village all the way through to Grand Cru. These guys are very good to us, including some Pouille Fousse, some Cote de Chalonnais wines. But most of these wines are Cote de Bone, which is Cote de Nuit, uh, Cote de Nuit and Cote de Bone, the Cote d'Or, rather, which is the center cut, the sirloin, the greatest part of Burgundy. And, uh, you know, only 11% of wines are Grand Cru in Burgundy. Only 1% of wines are Grand Cru. So a uh, tiny amount of wines classified as Grand Cru's, and we are going to be serving you one Two Grand Cru's tonight, Clovujo, one of the largest in Courtauld Charlemagne. So for 75 bucks, just to come and taste those two wines, those are both $100 plus today. Uh, a really great value. And we got Philippe Marchal, the French wine specialist from Cobrand, back again this year. A treat to have the last couple of years. So we're looking forward to that. So check it out, everything we're going to be serving. And we've got a complete list of everything from Louis Jadot on this offering from 2011 which has just arrived. We've got 2010 in the store. we got 2009 in the store. We still have a couple of great deals on 2009, so we're going to include all that on this offering. Check it out. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.